so before starting today's video i actually want to show you my outfit um you guys gonna be watching this video tomorrow which will be the 18th but today is july 17th which is my birthday i am 27 years old today to show you that my little birthday outfit that i only paid around 20 dollars for so let me show you so this is the outfit that i got i know it's not your typical like a minimalist outfit i wanted to wear something out of my comfort zone so with the shirt um i actually bought this from my local thrift store and it was around five dollars so it was super cheap and it fits like a glove i swear you guys um it was too open up and so i had to like get like a bralette to put underneath so it doesn't show too much i'm still trying to be conservative here you can tie like a little bow i clearly suck at tying bows i will work on that later on today moving down to my jeans um these are my regular jeans that i normally wear i have these in a couple colors like i said you guys i will be doing a capsule wardrobe soon and these are part of them um my jeans usually go for like 15 to 20 dollars these were on sale last month and i just like how they fit in the back like usually i would have like a problem with my jeans going like that but they fit really nice and they're only 15 dollars, so you can't go wrong my shoes are just some random wedges that i've had for about a year now i just keep re-wearing them for the summertime there's nothing really wrong with them so um they're not really worn out as much i think it goes great with any color that's why i picked these up i know they look a little dirty there that's because i've had them for a year now so enough about my outfit i just wanted to show you guys um let's just get straight on into the video i wanted to make today's video because i know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a what's in my bag i've seen those around youtube recently and um, to be 100% honest with you guys, I don't own a purse and I will definitely tell you why. Just stay tuned um, and I will show you guys what I do own to hold my main essentials when I leave the house. So starting with why I do not own a purse. There's no crazy reason on why I don't own one. But for me, I used to collect them. I used to collect a lot of items back then and... I like I, the purse collection started back when I was in middle school and that was when like those Louis Vuitton purses were like super big back then the white um the little white purses with like the Louis Vuitton logo on them that were like rainbow colors and I always wanted one and I know obviously um, my family couldn't afford one so what they would do is they would give me for Christmas my birthdays they would just give me like random bags that looked like the bags that I wanted. So I ended up collecting a lot um, throughout the years went by um, with me turning 20, 21, in my early 20s. I ended up going to a Boston market one time, got a taste of buying a replica bags. I know, super bad for the environment. And... I trust me you guys I don't regret anything that I've done back then because you have to you learn from your mistakes but I wish I was more cautious of what I was doing with my money so I ended up purchasing a you know a lot of replica bags which was like Prada Michael Kors all those name brands that are really big um, and I would end up having about 40 to 50 purses in my bedroom back when I lived with my mom I had this persona in my head that you need a bag for either every season or every outfit in the case for me I would get one for every week and even people at my job and people um, my family members they would be like why do you need so many bags like can't you just be fine with one and I used to always be like no you don't understand I like fashion but with the years going by and me adapting to a minimalist lifestyle I the first the the last thing that I gotten rid of for me to sell was my purses my purses were something that I wasn't really using anymore and that didn't really 
I because obviously I like stepped out of that zone where it was brand names um, so all my bags had a brand name on them whether it said Prada whether it said MK or LV I was like you know what time to get rid of these time to think of another alternative to carry my license credit card debit card in other than these big bulky bags so what I ended up doing was I ended up selling them online got my account deleted for selling those bags online because I didn't know you couldn't sell replicas online I mean I used to think back then well I went to Boston to buy them why can't I resell them so obviously I didn't know that it was like a fraud thing I, I read about it so with me getting kicked off online from selling I ended up just giving them all away to people at work. I ended up giving them to family members, friends. And with them all being gone, I made quite a lot of money back, put it into savings. And I was without a purse or wallet for about, I would say like a couple months until I went into TJ Maxx one day and I had a wallet in mind that I wanted to carry my license because I didn't think it was safe for me just carrying these cards in my back pocket or inside my phone case like you know when you open the phone case and you just stuff it in there and put your phone case back on um it slipped out a couple times which was really really scary for me to think that i almost lost my credit card and stuff um and then obviously i don't know if you guys do this but ladies this it's a really bad habit of us but i would always like put my license in my bra or like um, my credit card, debit card, anything like that, just so I wouldn't carry a wallet around or a bag around. So obviously I needed something to carry those items in. And what I carry now is this. I've had this for about a year. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a clutch, but I, to me I call it like a clutch slash, wall, slash wallet. It has no name brands on it. And that's like the main reason why I went for it. The other reason why I went for it was because it has one zipper, which is great for me because there were a lot of wallets that had like, they were about like this chubby and they would have like two like zippers where you can put like money in the other, cards in the other. And I just didn't need a lot of room like that. So I will show you guys what it looks like inside. I did remove my personal stuff because I don't want my personal information on the internet obviously so this is what it looks like inside um very very simple i usually have my license in here i usually have my debit card and my credit card right here i don't use these slots um because i don't really have a lot of cards like that what i keep in here is either cash if i'm going somewhere and they don't take credit card or if i'm going to the laundromat um my laundromat uses cash so i put like 20 to 30 dollars on to do laundry and stuff and i always keep like coupons that come in the mail in case i need something um i will keep a coupon in and if i'm doing a shopping trip i will write down what i need and if i have the coupon for it i will use it the best thing about this wallet and why it's 10 times better for me to carry something like this in a purse Number one, I think that you can use it either way. So I would wear it like this out on my regular day, like today and stuff. But if I'm going to a party, which I did go to a Christmas party last winter and I had a black dress and I ended up using this as a clutch. I just took this off. And I just used it as like a simple clutch and it looked perfectly fine. And then once when the night was over, the next day returned to a regular day. I just ended up wearing it like a regular wallet again. Another reason why I decided to go for this wallet other like rather than a bag or a purse was the simple fact that it doesn't have a name brand. It's not bulky to carry. And I would honestly say that this wallet only cost me five dollars and i won't buy another one until this one breaks um i got it in tan because i feel like tan goes with everything and it's so much easier to carry a wallet slash clutch around than a purse and i know they have those purses that go around like like a body purse um to me i just don't really care for them it reminds me of like a car seatbelt 
no offense to anybody that has those but for me i feel like i'm wearing a car seat belt you know obviously i wear my seat belt every day in my car but i don't want to have to get out of my car and feel like i'm still wearing it so that's why i don't really go for those bags as well but anyways you guys i really really hoped you got something out of this video this is like the reason why i don't or i haven't made a video on what's in my bag because i don't own a bag <laughs> so it was hard for me to just like keep answering everyone's comments on why i'm not doing those videos so it's better for me to just come out and make a video like this and let everyone know i don't own a purse i own just a wallet and i'm perfectly happy with that i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my birthday i will catch you in the next video bye